Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So season 7 is launching March 19th, so in 5 days from now and honestly the season is a joke. We got waited like 160 days, so in every other game this would be like 2 seasons, but we had literally only 1 season, so we expect to at least get like more content in season 7, since season 7 basically had a whole 2 seasons to make content. But yeah, so what do we get with season 7? That's quite funny because Dice teased two new maps, three guns and one new gadget and one new vehicle. Now on paper this doesn't sound too bad but in reality it should. So we get the new map clearly inspired by Erika Harbour from Battlefield Bad Company 2. The map actually looks great. I'm interested in knowing how the map plays on breakthrough since I'm not really a conquest fan on those larger maps. So map looks good hopefully it plays good but we can only tell this when we actually get to play this map and the map is actually coming out on release. So now to the funny part. The second map of season 7. We literally get the stadium from Hourglass. So I think it was this season, season 6, where they basically reworked Hourglass to be more playable and they cut out the huge stadium section to make the map smaller. And now we are getting the section they just cut out as a new and second map. And you know what the best part is? We don't even get stadium at launch. We get stadium as a mid-season update later on. So we are back to just one map at launch and we waited like 160 days just to get only one map at launch again. It's crazy but that's not all. We also get new guns. We get the SCZ3 so basically the Scorpion. That's the only content I'm really hyped for since in the trailer they showed the gun with a drum magazine already and this gives me vibes that we might have the OP Vector again or OP K30 what it's called in this game. So that's what I'm hyped for. Then we get the AK-5C will probably play like every other assault rifle so it's nothing special and then we also get an LMG but the funny part is the LMG will also come in a mid-season update so from the three infantry weapons we are getting we actually only get two in the battle pass and the other one is coming like one and a half months after season launch nice that really gets me hyped having my third weapon not at launch but only two so the new gadget the S-Rod the basic Dillis missile version 2 we also get at launch and then the new vehicle the bomber for one nice dice we really needed a bomber in the game so i will definitely not play conquest and any other map where this bomber is like viable because i don't want to get stealth bombed all time but the new vehicle is also coming at a, at a mid-season update so on tuesday we'll get one map and two new guns in a battle pass and a grenade launcher nice and we waited 160 days for it it's a joke it's a fucking joke this game honestly and then mid-season update stadium map lmg bomber like wow nobody will come back for this but hey at least we got a super nice 100 tier battle pass where they want 10 bucks from you again just so you can get some mediocre skins that you will never ever wear again once the next battlefield comes out so yeah it honestly it's a joke season 7 is a complete joke and maybe i should just take a break or stop covering Battlefield 2042 because with this content and I can guarantee you this little content we are getting will be stretched out insane because I don't believe DICE will release season 8 three months after season 7 launches. No I think DICE will stretch season 7 the same way they stretch season 6 and then they will stretch season 8 and once season 8 is over by like the end of December or beginning January next year then they will slowly start releasing teasers and trailers for the next Battlefield game. Honestly for me personally there's no reason to play season 7. Yes, the SCZ3, it's the only gun I'm interested in. One, once I tier 1 it, maybe it's OP enough to be fun for quite a while, but other than this, like the new maps also looks fine. Maybe I play it a bit on breakthrough, but then there really isn't much. And honestly, the battle pass for me isn't really worth grinding since I already have the skins I find interesting. Some of the skins they showed look cool, but I think they won't be on the operators I'm playing anyway. So yeah, but I can also tell you my first video of the new season will actually be a battle pass review so if you want to buy the battle pass please don't do it the day it comes out just wait one day next week on wednesday i will upload my video covering the battle pass show the skins and tell you if i think it's worth to buy or if it's not worth it probably for me if i play the game anyways i will probably still buy it since i have the coins and probably play through it anyways but for the rest of you please wait for my review before you throw money at us after they literally fucked us over with the with the season because that's what it is and I can also tell you right now the same thing I, 
I said in my video where I covered the recoil changes, the visual recoil changes, I actually said that instead of dice focusing on changing the visual recoil, they should focus more on delivering us more content with season 7 by adding 2, 3 or even 4 new guns to the 3 they had already planned. And what is it? I was right. They focused so much attention on visual recoil where like 90% of the player base doesn't care about it, most probably won't feel the difference and those that we feel the difference will probably hate it. And so they rather do this and waste resources and time on those things than to give the player base more weapons because I can guarantee you I don't think anybody in the community prefers a better visual recoil over having like five or six guns in a season instead of three but that's just my opinion. So yeah overall I would literally say season seven is just a better pass update nothing really noteworthy in it but but I would also love to hear your opinion what do you think on season se of season seven so far from the trailers and also what is your opinion on them holding back the second map the LMG and the vehicle for the mid-season update and not really giving us those at launch. Do you think it's a good decision or are you just like why does why are you doing this and why are they giving us so little content at launch? But yeah let me know down in the comments below. That's all from me today. If you enjoyed this video consider leaving a like and if you want to stay informed for season 7 and all Battlefield subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching until the end and I will see you in the next one.